Hey, this is Rob Ryan. Welcome to X's and O's. All right, today we're going to talk about running back screens. All right, the most popular ones used in the National Football League. All right, the perfect time NFL offenses use these as a weapon, it's, it's a small risk, big reward type of play for the offense. All right, so the biggest thing when you want to use these screens all right, is, is when you think the defense is attacking such as rolling off the ball. In the first 15 plays of a game, you'll always see an NFL offense use screens. All right, also, on get back on track situations, those are second and long or maybe third and extra long. This are when the screens are going to show up when you're watching at home. All right, but here's your most common screens in the National Football League. The first one is a classic screen. A classic screen looks nothing like anything else in the NFL. The quarterback's going to catch the ball probably from shotgun or take it back from center, and he's going to drop deep and then drift towards the screen. That's how he's going to play. The offensive line, the tackles set real deep. They kick deep. All right, those kick way back and get bull rushed. That's what they want to pull the end up the field. All right, and eventually using a high arm to push them away. The, the, uh, the rest of the offensive line will take their people in man blocking. The most common protection in football is the backstepping for the weak linebacker, the center and the backside guard working together to get this tackle and that linebacker. All right, so it looks like drop back pass all right, to the defense. Okay, but what happens is once this guy goes up the field, it's going to take two counts before the offensive line releases. And what I'm talking about is the center and the guard will release in front of the back. The back will step up, he'll, he'll set, thousand one, show protection, then pop out, and by thousand two, the offensive line's in front of him. So that's, that's the, the classic screen. That's what has a classic screen. On defense, all right, as you drop, and here, let's say this is a, a cover three here, all right, and we'll use the different color here. All right, so in a cover three, the first offensive lineman will block the force, which is the set with a secondary man that comes and forces the ball back inside. The first lineman, whether it be the guard or the center, the first one out there will block him. So in this case, the guard will come and get blocked. All right, he'll block the will linebacker. The center will get the last remaining linebacker from inside out. All right, you'll see the best teams, the best teams will cut. They'll use the cut block on those, on those, uh, those inside linebackers. All right, the, so that, that's called a classic screen. The offense will run the exact same play, all right, and they call this an across screen where this back comes all the way across, shows protection, and runs the exact same play. So you have the exact same blocking for the classic screen and for the across screen. All right, so those are two of their favorite screens, and they're blocked identical. All right, this next one all right, also is blocked the same way, all right, but it's usually on third down. It's a chip screen. It's blocked the identical way from the offensive line, but it's a chip screen. So usually each one of these teams has a great dynamic rusher. You'll chip them with the back. You fully block them. Remember, we're only going to block for two counts. So as soon as you hit them, now you pop out and get the screen, and it's blocked the identical way. Those are your three most popular screens used. All right, low risk for the offense, high reward all right, for the offense if they hit one. It's very difficult to have a negative play on a screen pass because you can always just throw it in the ground. All right, so that's Rob Ryan, and that's your Chalk Talk.